Well folks, you are back with us and we're just moving forward an inch there. We are still with the Pride, now moving steadily south and uh, we have come across this very bad looking hyena. It's in a very bad state, it's not looking in very good condition and it's actually walking on its front knees. Um, the front, it seems as if its feet, front two feet are broken or something, I'm not sure. But if these lions spot it, which they haven't yet, its game is over. They're not far from it. They may be 40 meters on the other side of him. Her, I'm not sure. But it's a very sad state of affairs that these things happen out in the African wilds. But they are all natural. I'm not sure what happened to the hyena. The running and fell in a hole perhaps or got bitten on the front feet. I'm not sure, but it looks like the lions are going to walk right past and he might survive another day. But with injuries like that, unfortunately, not many animals will survive without proper care but being a very common animal there we go oh oh something's happened oh this is happening folks this is happening this is happening one lioness has spotted it chased it away Chased it away. The other lion is going for it. Other lioness is chasing it. They've got it, folks. All five lions are going for this hyena. I don't know if they've actually got it or not. They want it. This is could be quite disturbing. Okay. Good evening everybody, this is not for sensitive viewers, we are with a pride of lions called the Sausage Street Pride that have just come across a very badly injured hyena and they've just injured it some more, I think they might leave it there, I'm not sure, we're coming to you live from the Masai Mara in Kenya, the Mara Triangle, oh, my, my, my throat, my heart is in my mouth, apologies, that was quite something, we watched this poor hyena moving through and we thought the lions had left it or missed it completely and then one came charging after it and then another and then all five decided to come and try and torment the immortal enemy eternal enemy my apologies there you can see the lionesses are now scent marking they have told that hyena who is boss and this is our spot that one actually had some blood on his lips i think that hyena is going to be in a bad way unfortunately it's very sad please feel free to drop any comments or questions below and you see the scent marking of kinky tail the leader we believe of this pride the sausage tree pride there are five members in attendance leaving two little youngsters not long ago in the drainage line as they've gone off on what we believe to be a hunting mission continuing with the wind they go you can probably hear the wind on my microphone it is very loud Kelly it is nature and well they didn't kill it um, sometimes you do see that you'll actually see them eat it afterwards once they've killed it something predators do it's a competitive world out here the hyena, if they came across these young, these individuals' cubs, would definitely kill them. It is what happens out in the African wilds. That one seems to have injured itself in the process. Going to do some scent marking while it goes. They showed that hyena, didn't they? All the scent marking going on. When we came across the hyena, it was limping badly. It was actually walking on its two front knees. I don't know what had happened, some form of injury, but as soon as these lions decided to come for it, it took off at proper, proper hyena speed. My name is Steve, and I'm joined by uh, Manu on camera. Welcome. Uh, let's go back over to these lovely individuals. Well, that was quite something to behold. Seeing, seeing the hyena getting smashed like that was... Um, well, we just got the end of it. You got, as it happened, we arrived as they caught it. And, uh, well, that is how it works, folks. And we're going to keep up with these lions. As I am pretty sure they are hungry. And uh, who knows what they might be taking down anytime soon. Let's move up just a little bit. Well, 
probably noticed the colors on the camera there are quite sort of black and white. That is from the infrared lights. But if you'd like to keep watching, we are still live for another 30 minutes or so. Just Google Safari Live. You'll catch us there. Thank you for jumping on board, and we'll see you next time. Good night. Anyway, we're going to get around these lines and hopefully they're going to catch something that they're going to want to eat and in the meantime, the man who's got all the meals all to himself is with Sydney. Hosanna is having a tough time today. I can promise you what Hosanna has been experiencing with the hyenas is nothing compared to what the owls are doing today. So these owls are chasing him. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so the owls are cornering Osana by all means. Every time he makes a move, they are coming just with a high speed and they are trying to catch him. So these owls are chasing Osana here, you will see. Every time he moves, they are coming. He is charging and growling at them and they are not listening. So they are right somewhere that you, you can see is going down there. <laughs> so these owls are very serious about it. So you can see the big cat is moving short distance and hide, short distance and hide. So I'm just going to try and pull forward so that we can see him nicely. So there is a better spot for this sighting. So we are right on the edge of the we are right on the edge of of the dry riverbed. So I'm just going to where I think we might see him better. Osana has been just given a, a very a strong wing club now, now, but look at him now running away. You can see these things are chasing him. He's running away now. So he just got disappeared somewhere there. So they managed to win the battle. <laughs> and they were very serious about it because now the last one I saw, it, 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 it seems like that um, owl managed uh, to get his, to touch him. So I'm just gonna try and search with my spotlight here, just to see if I can see him again. I saw him running away towards this direction here, so it's in the gully. It's not easy, but those beds are gonna show me where he is. Oh, she missed it. Oh, the trap was set. Oh, that happened so quickly. They're looking bewildered. Those zebra came out of nowhere. Those uh, zebra were just on the other side of a little ridge that we were coming up on. And it's possible that the lions had smelt them the entire time. And you saw how the lions spread out like that, lying sort of in different positions. The zebra still managed to get through. We are one lioness short. And they're looking a little bit bewildered. There were two attempts. That one lion actually got claws on the, the, the animal. Who is it? I don't know who she is. Oh, it happens so quickly, folks. The zebra were going straight. There's the other lioness coming in from the back. That's the one we saw initially with the zebra. 
and they obviously the zebra all decided to peel off and come at different angles and that's why lions spread out in a line like this have the potential to be able to ambush and to catch whatever it is that slips past one but not today so that's two attempts this afternoon and this evening one they didn't even get close and the second one well all they needed to do was hold on Sammy Jane and the excitement never ends you're so right you're so right so those zebra I think we're keeping to the sort of downward side of the slope on the other side yet yeah, where the wind is maybe a little bit less compared to out in the open oh zebras are alarm calling zebra's alarm calling off to our left that might be part of the herd that split up no doubt that these lions are going to try and hone in on it let's move up see what we can see indeed 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 still with the lions they're uh, taking us a bit of a wild goose chase through the bush they're just stopping for a quick sniff of this guari bush uh, i had tracks of a male lion through here yesterday morning so maybe that's what they're smelling there might have been a male lion scent marking here sniffy 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 you can see the fleming grimace there Every lioness has stopped to sniff this tree. Standing by. I'm walking southeast, sort of to that old Nisikaya, but some of them are still next to me. Sorry about that, just letting Abel know where the lions are. It's just lines, lines everywhere as I shine my spotlight to check where everyone is. Make sure there's nothing that they want to hunt up ahead. Okay, I need to move again. Very close to the boundary. And I think they might cross into Chitwa. And it's quite a thick little area in front of us now. Ah, okay. So from where one of the other vehicles are, they can hear that they're apparently they're stalking water back. So I don't want to be behind them, I'm gonna move away. And we'll go see if we can see the water back with the infrared. And you see I've turned off all my lights now, but that's also because I know there's a little road in front of me. Turn on the little lights. The boys are gonna mess this up. Little boys, or is that a girl? It looks like a little boy. And the Manji Mangens are also walking straight out into the open. It is quite a dark night. Obviously, they're probably the most in need of a good meal. Gonna listen carefully. If we hear the waterbuck start snorting, the game is over. And these males walking right out into the open. I think they might have botched the chances of the pride catching something big, like a waterbuck. For now, what will probably happen is they've moved quite far and quite fast, as they might just have a snooze now. At least we know where to start looking for them in the morning. Here we go. Snort, snort. You won't be able to hear it in the wind. A waterback have spotted them by the sounds of things. The lions don't seem to be convinced that they're spotted. Just 
just listening. Well, let's just see what happens here for a little bit. So we're going to extend a little bit. So we don't know where that last line is. You might be looping in behind the water buck to cause pandemonium.